On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound I was afraid I'd never hear. To the North Pole, of course! This is the Polar Express! Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you know what kind of train this is? Huh? Train. Do you know what kind of train this is? Well, do ya? Uh... Of course. It's a magic train. We're going to the North Pole. Yeah, I know it's a magic train. Actually, it's a Baldwin 284 S3 class Berkshire type steam locomotive. Built in 1931 at the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It weighs 456,100 pounds and has attractive force. Are we really going to the North Pole? Top speed mm -hmm. hey, wait a Isn't minute. that wonderful? Purple Shimey! Purple Shimey! <laughs> Herpleshimers, herpleshimers, <laughs> Bah! I can't stand children. They're the only ones silly enough to believe in Santa. It's toys that make Christmas fun, not Santa. Well, they certainly won't believe in Santa if they never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never find these tickets before the conductor throws them off the train. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I want all those Herpleshimer's toys. I'm gonna ask Santa for all of them. Tickets? Tickets, please. I'll be coming back to check your tickets shortly. Make sure you have them ready. I've got my ticket right here. I, I, I can't find my ticket. I never lose my ticket. I always keep it here, safe in my pocket. My ticket, it's gone! I, I lost, lost my ticket! My ticket. My ticket. If we don't find our tickets, we're all going to get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Everybody calm down. Now why don't you go and search for your tickets in the other train cars, and if the conductor comes by, we'll cover for you while you're gone. Okay! okay. They might not be able to find their tickets by themselves. Maybe one of us should go and help them. Okay. You stay here and keep an eye out for the conductor. I'll go and help find their tickets. Well, well, well. 
Did you find your ticket? I'm afraid to go in there. It's dark and spooky. A jack in the box has my ticket and it won't give it back. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. Do you know which jack in the box has your ticket? I, I don't know. I was so frightened. I nearly dropped my flashlight when I was looking around in there. Okay, here's the plan. You hold the flashlight and I'll check the jack in the boxes. Try to be brave. I don't like the dark much either. Uh, I'll try. you run off? I can't open the toys without you. It's too scary. I don't want to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I know which toy it's in. We'll find it in no time. Okay, I I'll give it one more shot. Hey, did you see that? The boxes have switched places. Spooky. Now, which toys haven't we tried? wasn't the one. it together. I couldn't have done it without your help. But hurry back before the conductor starts looking for us. Those 
puppets aren't making this Go very slow, easy. Out it goes. <laughs> doing here? Well, I came to help you look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. I'm not afraid of some old puppets. I'll go in there and get your ticket back for you. I've come to get my friend's ticket back. If you want to stop me, you better do it now. <laughs> Take this! That's the way you want it! Get him! my puppets if you want that ticket. Don't you know it's against railway regulations to throw objects inside the train cars? Well, they started it and was the only way I could get your ticket. By the way, here it is. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. I'm gonna go find the others and see if they found their tickets. I'm afraid he's going to be left behind all alone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> You're going to have to get past me if you want to pull this emergency brake. And I don't believe that you can do it. Do you? <laughs> 
the places hold that cord he did you in case you didn't know that cord is for emergency purposes only and in case you weren't aware tonight is Christmas Eve and in case you haven't noticed this train is on a very tight schedule now young man Christmas may not be important to some people but it is very important to the rest of us but, but, uh, he was just trying to stop the train so that kid could get on. Young man, is that what happened? Well, let me remind you, we are on a very tight schedule. And I've never been late before, and I am certainly not going to be late tonight. Now, everybody, take your seats, please. Thank you. We still gotta find the rest of the tickets. You keep looking for the tickets and I'll distract the conductor. All right, you've got a deal. Hmm, I wonder where the other tickets are. <laughs> you look like a good sport. The ticket you're looking for is on the other side of this train car. If you can get the ball past me, then you can pass. Let's play!
But I have to get inside because someone has hidden my ticket in there. Um, why is the cook angry? Someone messed up all the food he made. Now he's got to make more. Uh, yeah, that was me. But it wasn't really my fault. Those puppets started it. Don't worry, though. I'm going to sneak in there and get your ticket back. Okay, just be careful. The cook is not in a good mood at all. A bad mood. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. You're so brave. Oh, what a racket! We'll never hear you if you go through now. I'll rejoin the others. Ticket yet? I'm so glad to see you here. I can't get past this train car. The door at the other end of the pantry is locked. Did you look for a key? I searched and I found it, but promise me you won't laugh. I won't laugh. Some horrible little mice ran off with it. I'm really scared of mice. <laughs> hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Well, how about I catch those mice for you? And then we can search the next train car for your ticket. Okay, but I'll only come in once you've got the key. You shouldn't be scared of toys. Toys? Well, still, I'm glad you found the key because now we can go and look for my ticket. Maybe it's in the next room. Okay, we better hurry. Let's go. Wait a minute! I think I see my ticket. It's there, frozen in a block of ice. We'll need something to break the ice apart. 
Use that Ice Smasher thing. An Ice Smasher. That sounds cool. I want to try that. Well, okay. Well, just be careful. The floor is very slippery, and those blocks of ice look dangerous. Did you find my ticket? I sure did. Here you go. Thank you. There's one more boy up ahead. He must still be looking for his ticket. Don't worry. You head back with the others. I'll help him find his ticket, and the conductor will never suspect the thing. Up here. I came up here to help you find your ticket. I fought puppets, dodged toys, smashed ice blocks, trapped mice, and even hit from an angry cook. Whoa! Now that's impressive. I hope you can help me. My ticket is locked in a suitcase in the next car. I found a key hanging by the door, but I can't get to the suitcase because there are these mean toys who... Let me guess. Those toys in there? They won't give you your ticket. That's right. They jump up and threaten me whenever I enter the room. You'll need these if you're going in there. Leave it to me. We are all going to the North Pole, and we need those tickets. <laughs>
Thanks for finding my ticket. I don't think we'll be having any more trouble from those toys. They'll stay shut for a long time. We should go back and join the others. Yep. We better get back before the conductor throws us off the train. Blasted boy! Messing up my plans! Who does he think he is pushing us toys around like that? But I've still got a trick up my sleeve. Let's see what happens to the girl when she realizes she's lost her ticket! <laughs> They'll never find it here! We've all got something we'd like to say to you. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for finding my ticket. Uh, that's okay. It was nothing, really. Okay. Well, if it was nothing, we should probably all sit down and stop blocking the car. Railroad Regulation 74 forbids passengers from obstructing fire exits, you know. You're such a know-it-all. He's right about one thing, though. We should get back to our seats. I can hear the conductor coming. Lost your ticket? She didn't lose her ticket. I did. I tried to re return it to you, but the wind blew it out of my hand. <sighs> you can have my ticket. Ah! These tickets are not transferable. Young lady, you will just have to come along with me. You know what's gonna happen now, don't you? He's gonna throw her off the train. Yeah, he's gonna probably throw her right off the rear platform. It's standard procedure. That way she won't get sucked down under the wheels. They may slow the train down a little bit, but they're never gonna stop it. Stop it? That's it! I have to stop the train again! No, please, don't do that again! lost me off this train. That girl is depending on me. I'm not going to let her down.
before it's too late. Someone there? This is something I can do for you. I'm looking for a, a girl. A <gasps> young man. If I was you, I'd keep all my valuables right here. Right here in the old size 13. Experience shows this is the safest place. Not that I have much use for those tickets. Uh, I ride for free. Oh yeah, yeah. I hop aboard this Rattler anytime I feels like it. I own this train. Oh, it's like I'm the king of this train. Yeah, the king of the Polex. In fact, I am the king of the North Pole! You know, it's pretty dangerous up here, but I'm impressed that you managed to get this far. You're a regular hero, trying to give that girl her ticket back. But let me tell you, if you thought getting up here was hot, then you better prepare yourself for a shock. That was nothing, because frankly, there's no way you're going to make it if you stay on the roof. So it's hopeless then? There's one way to get that ticket back to the girl. Do you want to hear it? Ye yes. We gotta jump off this here train and take a shortcut. Now look me in the eye. Do you believe that you can do this? I guess I can do it. I can do it! Okay. Take my hand. Draw a deep breath. On the count of three, we're gonna ski down the hill. You're gonna need to shift your weight to steer us clear of the rocks. One, two, three!
We got no time to waste.
that's the parts that we need. You did well there. We couldn't have done it without your help. We're not done yet, though. We need to fix the light so we can see our way forward. You did a great job back there. Yeah, you did too. I'm just worried about what the conductor will do when he realizes that I've stopped the train again. Don't worry about that. We can work it out if we stick together. Why in blazes have we stopped? You! I should have known. Young man, are you bound to determine that this train never reaches the North Pole? But look! Caribou Crossing! Problem solved. All ahead, slow! Now that the track is clear, we need to get this train back on schedule. It's five minutes to midnight. We're cutting it awfully fine. Okay, we need to build up the steam pressure again and get this train moving. That's right. We gotta stoke the fire and build up the heat. We're only gonna make it if we all work, work together. together. Young man, you seem to have some skill at resolving these situations. Do you believe you have what it takes to get this train going again? He's shown that he's brave. We know that he's tough. Just gotta believe that he's got the right stuff. I'm gonna do it. Let's get this train moving. No time flat, we'll have fixed up the engine. Do as we say, stick to the rhythm. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Dig, shovel, dig, shovel. Dig, shovel, dig, shovel. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this. Dig shovel. Oops. Up, up. Dig shovel. Ah. Uh. Up, up. Dig shovel.
Up! Down! Left! Dig! Up! Down! Right! Up! Shovel! Left! Right! Up! Shovel! Left! This is easy! Up! 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 Dig! You're doing great! One more round and our work here's all done. Then we'll resume our North Pole bound run. Down! Dig! Down! Shovel! Down! Dig! Down! Shovel! Dig! Dig! Up! Shovel! Looks like we're gonna make it. We should be able to make up time if we keep working at it. Thanks for your help, young fella. We couldn't have done it without you. Young lady, there's still one matter outstanding, as you have failed to produce a valid ticket. Railway regulations specify that you must leave the train. Holy smokes, I forgot! I found your ticket. Thank you! This ticket? appears to be valid. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, all right then, time for us to head back. Thank you for finding my ticket. I really thought the conductor was going to throw me off the train. It was nothing. I'm just glad I got to blow that whistle. I always wanted to do that. Okay, let's head back. I should warn you, though, there are some nasty toys on this train. I've got a sneaking suspicion that there may be trouble ahead. Look at all these crates! Yes, yes, yes. How are we ever going to be able to get through here? W what was that? Yes, Don't yes. worry. It sounds like we have some company. Just keep your head down. I'll take care of these toys. Once the coast is clear, follow me across the train car. Okay, be careful. Yes, who? Yes, who? Yes, who? It's so cold in here. 
That icy floor really looks slippery. Oh, it's really slippery. Hey, look, there's a pair of ice boots. Hey, why didn't I get that the first time? If I put them on, I should be able to walk safely and make a path for you. Okay, if you push some boxes around, I'll be able to slide across and use the boxes to steady myself. Call me when you're ready. toy mice, but it looks like they've stolen the key to the door again. I'm quite good at catching them. You wait here, and I'll go get our key.
I don't know, but it sounds pretty angry. What can it be? I think it's that nasty <laughs> toy who stole our tickets. It wants to stop us from getting to the North Pole. Well, I'm not going to let a toy stop me from eating Santa Claus. How about you? No way. We've come so far. It's time to put this toy away for good. So you want to go to the North Pole, do you? Well, to get there, you'll have to get past me. And I don't believe you can do it. <laughs> You're just a bitter old toy. Christmas isn't about toys. It's about giving and sharing. Ah, there's no Christmas without toys. Christmas cannot happen without me. Let's see about that. Why do you up when he shakes the floor? Watch out! Hey! You'll Try jumping up when he shakes the floor. Watch out, do it! Watch out, do it! Watch out! See how you take this! Oh, no! Right. You can do it! Watch out! Let's see how you take this! Right. Watch out! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> you can do it! Try jumping up when he shakes the floor! You can do it! children care to join us in the dining car? It's time we had some refreshments. Attention please. Would there be any Polar Express passengers requiring refreshment? Yes! That's what I thought. I'm gonna need your assistance, young man. As you can see, we have a lot of thirsty passengers, but we're short one waiter. I need you to help out and make sure that everyone gets a cup of hot chocolate. Do you think you can do that? Uh, I think so. I've never done it before. Trust me, I think you'll be a natural. Left, right, spin. 
Spin! Up! Left! Right! Spin! Up! Left! Right! Serve! Up! Left! Right! Up! Down! Left! Spin! Up! Down! Left! Spin! Up! Left! Right! Serve! Up! Left! Right! Roll! Up! Left! Right! Spin! Up! Left! Right! Spin! Up! Left! Right! Serve! Up! Left! Right! Roll! I save this for you. Thank you. Extra marshmallows, too! My favorite! Excuse me, sir. Yes, young lady, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could take a cup to the boy who's all alone in the other train car. You mean the boy in the observation car? Yes. Certainly, but we'll have to be quick. Five minutes to midnight! We're almost at the North Pole! if you please. Shorter in the front, taller in the rear. Even numbered birthdays on the right, odd numbered on the left. No pushing, no pushing, but let's not dilly dally. It's five minutes to midnight. Hey, what gives? It was five minutes till midnight four minutes ago. Exactly. Columns of two, one, two. Excuse me. Question. What about him? No one is required to see Santa. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not have to hold hands. Come on! But please remain in your columns while we are in prison. Look, you have to come with us. She's right. Crash into anything. 
anything, we should be all right. I bet you could use that wheel to steer the train car. Whoa! It works! Sort of. Okay, we have to be careful we don't lean too far, but at least we can avoid things on the track. Got it! One more thing, though. Where are we going? I'll tell you when we get there. Here we go! Ground. Hold on tight, everyone. I think we've arrived. Where have we arrived? We've reached the end of the track! 
Catch up with those elves. You can steer and I'll navigate. We need to hit those switching stations if we're ever gonna get through this. I'll tell you when I see him. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Green, green, go that wasn't it. Green, green, go for green.
Here we go!
catch him now. Thank you. 
How are we going to get out of here? Hmm. It's important we don't panic. There must be a way out. Why don't we use the presents as, as a ladder and climb up to the top of the pile? That's an excellent idea. I'm not sure that will work. It sounds pretty dangerous. This is a big pile of presents. Well, then you follow us, and then we'll take the lead and work out a safe way ahead. I don't mind. I'm happy to go with you. Sure. I'll meet you guys at the top. Shot down if you see any dangerous spots.
bro. Stowaways, party's over. Um, hi. But I, I, I just followed them. Don't worry about it. Look, we knew you were in there the entire time. It's great to have you on board. We have a slight problem though, and I wonder if you would be kind enough to help. Sure, of course, I'll try. If I help, does that mean I'll be the first to meet Santa? Now, is one of you good with handling vehicles? Because I need someone to steer the Zeppelin. I think I could help you, Captain. Fantastic! I need you to control the movement of the Zeppelin. Do you think you can do it? i got to help the other elves like me alone. I'll do whatever I can to help. What do you need me to do? Oh, one more thing. Try to keep the Zeppelin from crashing into things. And 
Make sure that Santa's sack of presents isn't damaged. Got it? Good. Aye, aye, sir. I'll give it my best effort. All right. Good luck, young man. And remember, Santa is relying upon you. You understand? He is relying upon you.
harder than it looks. This is harder than it looks. The presents! I have to be more careful. I gotta be more careful. Oops! I gotta be more careful. made the ride any more bumpy? Look, we're almost there. All right, you stowaways. Party's over. I was just following them. We, we fell in here by mistake. Ah, forget about it. We knew you was in there the whole time. Okay. Go. Okay. Form. Beautiful form. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Cutting it kind of close, aren't we? Dash away! Dash away! Dash away! Oh! 